Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the game changer, Wes Troop, and I'm back today with another review. Uh, we're doing this solo style, not, no, not like the normal version, if you didn't see my review of Ride Along 2, and if you didn't, go back and watch it, because, uh, yeah, views. <laughs> anyway, um, let's take a look at a movie that came out this past weekend that uh, is a sci-fi drama, I guess you could say. It's the newest YA novel movie. Ladies and gentlemen, here's my review of The Fifth Wave. Wave after wave! After an alien invasion, a high school girl is separated from her family and is forced to try and survive on her own. Not being able to trust anyone, she makes an alliance in order to save her brother from a training camp where kids are forced to prepare to take out the enemy. So what did I think of The Fifth Wave? I thought it's a ghastly sci-fi drama. This is a film based on a best-selling young adult novel, but certainly can't compare with other recent book-to-screen adaptations. I laughed when the alien mothership showed up right outside the house of the characters in Ohio, and they, yeah, funny enough, where I live, and they just sort of shrugged it off like it was a squirrel in a tree. They were not uh, upset at all, or panicking, or anything. It was just like, eh, whatever, mothership. We learn the aliens, known as the Others, have hit the world with different waves, including wiping out electricity, running water, the use of cars, bird flu, and humongous earthquakes. The fifth wave will be the one to destroy humanity once and for all. The film really feels like two separate movies that merged together in the last five minutes. One being a somewhat okay plot of the kids in the training camp, and the other being our main character crushing over a shirtless alien in the woods. Alright then. There are some action sequences, including a never-ending shootout, and a brawl or two which are nothing of note. It's also filled with terrible dialogue and sci-fi channel-like special effects. Chloe Grace Moretz stars as, stars as Cassie Sullivan, the quote-unquote totally normal high school girl who gets separated from her brother and is hellbent on finding him, Leave Schreiber as Colonel Vosh, the leader of the soldiers and mastermind who's seen as a hero, Nick Robinson as Ben Parrish slash Zombie, a football player Cassie has a crush on who's put into the, the training camp, Alex Rowe Brown as Evan Walker, a young man who rescues Cassie and helps her on her journey, Zachary Arthur as Sammy, Cassie's young brother, and Makai Monroe as Ringer, a tough, no-nonsense teen in the camp and the best character in the film. I would have rather seen her be the main character than Cassie. The fifth wave tries to be the next Hunger Games, but is too dull and dreary, making it more on par with The Host. Remember that movie from a few years ago? Wow. I'm going to give the, uh, the fifth wave the rating of... Fifth wave? I don't have five words for you. I got two words for you. Suck it. All right, well, that's the episode for this today. Until next, I'll be back soon with another review soon. Until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. You can like the page on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West True Baylist. Follow me on the Twitter at West A List and the Instagram at West A List. Until next time, Troop out.